What's going on? Rob Fish here, BikeBandit.com, here with Brett King from Brett King Designs, and join us as we dive in to his new collaboration with Arai Helmets. Welcome back. Thanks always for joining us. Brett, first off, man, thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule. I know this is uh, very a time-consuming uh, endeavor, so I'm just going to let you dive into this. How does this even start, dude? For the most part, uh, it starts out with a white helmet, and uh, I do a, a design comp drawing for people, and, uh, and then, you know, you start doing masking and painting and, you know, layers and layers, and you typically end up with something like this um, by the time it's done. I, I get it, it all starts with a white helmet. How did you even get started in this? Uh, I started painting um, back when I was 15 years old, uh, up in Canada, actually, in Vancouver. Uh, I raced motocross uh, at the time, and I wanted to paint my helmet, and my dad actually worked in a body shop. And uh, so he kind of taught me how to do it, basically, and uh, bought me an airbrush. And so I started playing around with it and painted my helmet and painted a bunch of friends' helmets. And then it just kind of snowballed from there. So. And now you're uh, painting helmets for Formula One car racing, but you're really coming back to your roots when it comes to moto. Yeah, yeah. Um, so when I first started painting, I actually painted for eight years uh, up in Canada. And then I got the opportunity to move down here to California. Um, to help start a company called Felt Bicycles. And uh, I worked there for 13 years, and uh, I was a creative director there. And uh, so I took a step back from painting and uh, for a little little time. And then, uh, yeah, and then I decided, if, uh, well, like four years ago, basically, to, uh, to pursue helmet painting again and create a brand and, and get Brett King Design going. This is only gonna come in one shape, on or one helmet, which is the Signet Q to start, but you have other visions. Yeah, uh, we wanted to start with these two helmets, uh, these Signet Qs, um, just to kind of position ourselves uh, in the middle of, uh, you know, the price points and uh, kind of, I guess, launch the, uh, launch the helmets to the core meat of the market. Um, but then what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be getting into the, the VX Pro 4 okay. um, to do a moto helmet, which I'm really excited about. And then I believe we will be doing uh, one of the newer, new Corsair uh, Xs as well. So um, that should be pretty, uh, pretty fun to do. And that's your own personal lid? Yeah, this is my, my uh, personal karting helmet. Um, I race shifter carts, which is pretty, uh, pretty fun. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, so... Um, uh, yeah, it, it, it's kind of my latest and greatest for myself, so. So this takes you like 45 minutes or? Yeah, you know, I can bust that out in a half hour. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. seriously, that's got like, it's probably a solid, my guess would be a week's worth of man hours. Yeah, there's typically most helmets are anywhere between 20 to 40 hours of, uh, of labor, um, you know, so it's extremely time consuming, um, which is, you know, kind of why it costs so much. So the creative process starts with what, like a, a dream and a nightmare and combined and next thing you know, or? Yeah, um, for the most part, uh, when I work on customers' helmets, um, they'll come to me with um, some ideas as far as um, what type of style they like, um, colors that they like, what kind of details they want on the helmet, if they want their name or numbers or, or a pattern or whatever it may be. Um, and then I'll just take all of that uh, information and then combine it and put it together and then you know design something that I think um, fits to them and their personality personality and, and their taste. So um, yeah, that's basically how it's done. Okay, so you already have kind of, you know what you can do, mm -hmm. then you get feedback from exactly what their vision is and then you combine them and then you get creations like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so it's fun to kind of do that because you people never really know what they're gonna get. Um, but then, you know, once they see the design comp, you know, they're, uh, they're really happy and excited and, you know, it's fun seeing it go from a drawing to, to the actual helmet that, uh, that you see here. We said earlier, you start with a white helmet mm -hmm. and then essentially have to strip them. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, on on the the karting helmets, yeah, you, you strip them down. Um, obviously, you don't take the the ABS film apart. Um, but yeah, I strip them down, sand them, um, base coat them, or say like on this helmet, you would actually chrome the helmet first, um, and then paint, uh, do your layering on top of that. Very, very cool, man. Yeah, no, thanks. Yeah, I, I think that's the thing for me, is I always want to uh, create something that's new and fresh and, and unique and different from, from what else uh, there is um, offered out there by other other people and uh, I'm, I'm big on being an individual and, and giving people that um, that unique creativity that I think um, has helped kind of get the company to where it is at this point in time. Absolutely so, rad. Yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely important. rad. I guess you got guys that actually have this craft that keep it very, very niche and then those that have actually branched out into everything. They've gone to mountain bike and motorcycle and so I guess what is the next direction for Brett King Design? Uh, I look at the company um, for the most part breaking into product um, probably I would say similar to how Troy Lee has broken into the, the industry and, and grown from helmet painting. Um, obviously I, I have a lot different style than Troy and uh, you know which I think is a good thing um, but yeah I definitely look at Troy as, as a pioneer of, um, of what I'm doing so I have a lot of respect for him. You know as we discussed earlier you started in two wheels, you got into four wheels, you're currently racing four wheels, you raced two wheels, and now you're kind of obviously coming back, you know, obviously with a Rye and the Signet Q. Two wheels or four? Who's the fastest guy on the planet current rock, currently rocking your stuff? Oh, uh, God, I guess that would probably be Joseph Newgarden. Um, he is my IndyCar driver, and uh, he, him and I have become great friends, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, he, he's super talented, 24 years old, he's from Tennessee. Yeah. Um, he just got second this past weekend at the Pocono IndyCar race. And uh, yeah, and then next year I guess we'll see where he goes. There's, there's talks about the possibility of him going to Formula One uh, for the new Haas F1 team. Um, might be a long shot because they probably want, you know, some, some more seasoned veterans of Formula One, but uh, you never know. I guess we'll have to see how it, how it unfolds. Sure. Hey. Yeah. Obviously, you can find the full collection of Brett King's work here at BikeBennett.com. Obviously, click on Arai and it'll actually be highlighted for you. But there's other avenues that people can actually find out more about you and maybe getting a custom helmet done. Yeah, um, people can go to my website. Uh, it's just brettkingdesign.com. Okay. Um, yeah, you can contact us through that. Um, also, we're big in social media, so we have a Facebook page. So again, just Brett King Design um, to find us on there. And then Instagram uh, has become my all-time um, favorite uh, form of social media because you can just really do all kinds of fun pictures and behind the scenes shots so yeah again and then on Instagram it's just Brett King Design so cool beans and then again just the collaboration with Arai and that partnership I think there's just gonna be nothing but success for you man I just want to say thanks yeah. for swinging on by Thank good you, times radio cool thanks much Rob Fish for bikebandit.com and Brett King from Brett King Designs check out the new collaboration and the new collection from Arai